So, good afternoon. Uh, Scarlett the Arabat and I, Fred Lundahl, uh, manager and chief flight instructor of the South Whidbey Flying Club, welcome you to Porter Field, or South Whidbey Air Park, as some people call it, on South Whidbey, about a half a mile over the uh, trees from the high school, South Whidbey High School. So he bought some land on South Whidbey, cut down lots and lots of trees, plowed it down, took out the stumps, and made a grass runway back in about 1948 or 49. What you see now is a paved runway of about 2,500 feet cut into the trees here on South Whidbey. Um, and there are about 10 or 20 planes that are based at this field and a large number of planes that come over for a hamburger or a coffee at the Seabiscuit Bakery and Cafe. Anyway, I got here about 20 years ago um, and uh, I've been flying for about, gosh, 55 years now. And um, I started flying when I was in the Air Force in Vietnam, but I was a journalist, not a pilot there. And uh, I used my GI Bill to get all my pilot's licenses and my instructor's license. And after I got out of the service, I went to Ethiopia where I taught at the uh, Imperial Ethiopian Flying Club and flew all around Ethiopia and Kenya in the Horn of Africa in the days before GPS, which meant uh, that we got lost sometimes and had crashes sometimes, but I'm still here, so I guess I survived the crashes okay. Anyway, uh, after spending the next 30 years as a diplomat all around the world and flying where I can and teaching where I can, I ended up retiring here to South Whidbey uh, and we flew our big plane, uh, which is a four seat airplane that the uh, wheels go up and down uh, out from Virginia to uh, South Whidbey. Uh, we started a store, Music for the Eyes in Langley uh, and we had a lot of fun flying this big plane around, uh, but I realized that I was missing teaching kids to fly and doing loop-de-loops in the air. And so I talked to my wife about that and she said, it sounds like you're saying we need to have a second airplane. So in fact, uh, I said, yes, we really need a second airplane. And so she was kind enough to say, okay, you can get one of these airplanes that does loop-de-loops uh, as long as I never have to ride in it. So we went looking for an airplane that we could use for two reasons. Uh, we could use to teach people to fly and we could use it to have some fun doing loop-de-loops and rolls and fun things upside down. So we went out to, uh, looked all around, decided that the airplane we needed was a Cessna 150 Aerobat. Uh, looked all around and won ads and on eBay and stuff, and we found one for sale in Idaho that the price was pretty good. So we went out and bought the plane, brought it back, and it was built in December 1974. Uh, it's lived in 14 different states in its life, including Canada. And uh, now she's, in the last seven years, been living at Whiskey 10 South Whidbey Air Park on South Whidbey Island. And so what we're doing is we are working with the uh, 
Interact Club at the high school uh, to encourage high school kids as well as other people uh, to come and learn to fly. And we want to make it as cheap as possible so I don't pay for my time. Uh, I don't charge for my time. And all the, the students do is pay for her time because we have to pay for her insurance, maintenance, gas, and things like that. So that is about what the story is on Scarlet the Arabat and the South Whidbey Flying Club. Okay. Hi, I'm Dave Bennett, and um, I, uh, I've been flying since, uh, I, uh, since I was about 16. I got my, uh, my uh, license, uh, well, I started flying when I was in high school. My uh, high school had a, uh, an airplane, an instructor, and a flight program, and I started off there. I got my uh, pilot, private pilot's license uh, when I was uh, 17 years old. Um, I flew for several years after that into college, and then life kind of happens when you get into college and then graduate from college and get married and things like that. So I set uh, flying aside for uh, about 30 years, actually, um, until uh, about uh, 15 years ago or so. My, um, I uh, bought my son an inter introductory flight lesson uh, as a Christmas present to see if he's interested. And he, uh, he, he was, and he was flying for a while. Then one day he couldn't, um, he couldn't make his lesson. Well, it was a 24 hour notice prepaid lesson. So I wasn't going to let that go to waste. So I, uh, took advantage of the lesson and the instructor convinced me that I could fly again. And, uh, after several times I was current again, and, uh, I started, uh, flying pretty regularly, uh, flying mostly, uh, 152s and 172s. Uh, renting those. Um, later on, I uh, got introduced to uh, Fred and Scarlett and uh, Fred, uh, oh, and Aaron Simpson at the time as well. Um, they uh, invited me to fly Scarlett occasionally, and so we uh, uh, had a great time flying Scarlett um, to, um, well, all over the place. Had She uh, was really uh, fun doing that. Then about uh, 2017, um, I uh, stumbled across a very nice uh, Cessna 182 that was for sale over in Port Townsend. Um, and uh, a friend of mine and I decided we would purchase that. Um, we brought it over here and uh, uh, been flying it since, uh, since 2017. Um, and it turns out that, that the, um, the person that we bought it from uh, is related to uh, Sky and Terra. And so uh, that was uh, kind of a coincidence when Sky and Terra came on the scene and we discovered uh, that uh, that we bought the plane from uh, a relative of theirs. That was that was uh, very that was fun. So um, my uh, since then I have uh, got my uh, ground instructor's uh, certificate. And so I'm uh, an advanced ground instructor and I love teaching the ground school here. Um, I love uh, taking uh, students up for Young Eagles rides, um, did one just yesterday, and um, just, uh, and I absolutely, uh, the best part of my day is coming home and uh, flying into Whiskey 10. It's just such a beautiful sight coming in and uh, that cut amongst the trees when you fly around and all of a sudden it appears and drop right on in and, and it's a welcome home every time. So um, anyway, that's a... Uh, it's kind of my story here at uh, Whiskey 10 and I just love it.
We put Scarlet away for the night. That's just kidding because the way we really did it, we put her back in and tuck her in for the night. Charlotte. I want to read her a bed night, uh, bedtime story and we'll say good night for now. Thanks for visiting.